For this video, we want to remind agents to take a few extra minutes when inputting a listing to review critical pieces of data that are most important to get right the first time. Of course, we can clean up afterwards, but it helps everyone to have clean data from the start. So, let's focus on some of these fields. I'm going to go ahead and pull up a listing. And the first one we want to talk about is going to be the parcel ID, found in the input form. So when you go to the listing part of the input form, you will notice that we have the parcel ID right here. If you fill from tax, that should automatically be entered there. But it's always a good idea to double check it against the county records. And if it's a new build that does not have a parcel ID, never put zeros. Just put the address of the property in that field. So again, if there's no parcel ID, put the address in that field and never put zeros. Let's move on over to private and public remarks. Regarding public remarks, just remember, no names, no phone numbers, no websites. This is a written description of the property only. The other thing we want to talk about is what is called private remarks. Think about it as agent-to-agent -agent talk. Private remarks are only visible to agents in the MLS. So this is where we can enter agent-specific information about the property, the transaction, or other sensitive details. In other words, if you cannot enter certain details inside the listing, then you can disclose it in private remarks to the other agents. Let's move on to the showing requirements and instructions. We ask all buyer's agents to pay close attention to what the listing agent has selected for the showing requirements and showing instructions fields. So we also want listing agents to make sure they're giving clear instructions. Review your selections closely and make sure your clients are aware of what instructions you've entered. Don't forget to clearly indicate when showings will begin, which is within four business days. This helps provide a more orderly marketplace overall. This brings us to the driving directions. When we go to driving directions, it's the same logic. Do not put in any phone numbers or websites. This is just directions to the property only. Please be as clear as possible when you're inputting these instructions. Of course, many use GPS outside of the MLS, but it's up to us to make sure that we're giving them proper driving directions. And also, when you're going to map out your property, be sure to click this link to get your latitude and longitude. You also want to click on Manually Map It. This way you're able to identify that this is on the correct parcel. If it's not, then you simply move this little marker to the correct parcel and hit Done. Now you've correctly input the correct driving directions. Lastly, let's talk about photos. We allow up to seven days before at least one photo is added to the property once it's active. So again, we will allow up to seven days before you have to put in one photo of the property once it goes active. But the best practice is to always add them as soon as possible, even when it's still incomplete. Additionally, the photos need to accurately show what someone would expect to see while visiting the property. So with that being said, virtual staging and other enhancements are allowed, but they must be labeled as such on the photo's description. They must also have a corresponding photo of the real-life situation without any enhancements. So, what you would do in this case is that you'd come to the photo, and you would click right here to enter the description. Here is where we would need to say that this is virtually staged, and then you'll click Done and Save. As agents look closely at these fields, we want to remind them to use Save as Incomplete. If they have time before making it active, let them know they can ask staff to review a specific data point to see if it's in compliance. We'd love to put the effort in up front to avoid a cleanup once on the market, and while we focus on these fields, we don't want to lose sight of the others. Proper and quality data input means a more reliable marketplace for everyone. And there you have it. As always, please reach out to us at support at aboard.com if you have any questions.